In 2020, Chalk Paint turns 30. Yay! To celebrate this milestone, I've created this pearlescent glaze. Pearl is traditionally used to mark 30th anniversaries. And when I began the company, I offered a similar product, Pearl Paint. So this is a nod to my heritage. There it is there. So I'm going to explain what pearl glaze is, pearlescent glaze is. So this is it. It's quite white um, looking, but in fact it's translucent. And in a way it's very much affected by the colours that are underneath it. So if I paint it onto here, a white paint underneath, it looks white. If I paint it here onto different colours, that looks pinky, that looks yellowy, that looks blue. The idea is that it enhances the colours that are underneath it. And it's got this beautiful, beautiful glaze to it, which does catch the light. One thing you might have noticed on here, particularly on here, is that the brush marks show. I've done that deliberately to show you the brush marks really, really show. Now, if you don't want it to do that, what you would do is apply it with a roller. So that's what I've done there. So that has got stripes on it of the brush marks and that is done with a roller. And for smaller areas, you might even do that. So that's a little stippling brush. I'll put it onto there. You'd get some onto there. And then you could apply like that. For sort of small areas. Um, it also looks amazing on something like this. So this is quite carved, and I actually painted over the whole thing. It was uh, Florence underneath, and then I painted like this flat of my brush, so just the top went on. So I think that's amazing, and I love the way the colour gets on it. I do find that if you do a second coat sometimes, that really, really brings it out. So the first coat probably absorbs a little, and the second doesn't. So I'm mixing now the pearl glaze with some colours. And this for me is one of the most exciting things. So I just want to show you these. So that is a colour that I've made by using Florence. This is one I've made using onto green. And this one using Aubusson Blue. So how you do it is I'm going to have lots of glaze there. Now the key is to have just a tiny, tiny bit of colour. So I'm just going to a little tiny bit on there and then mix that in. You see what that a huge difference that makes. So you've got to be careful that you don't put too much in, otherwise you're going to obliterate the translucency of it. And then I can just paint that on there. Isn't that beautiful? I could do that with a roller, I could do that with a stencil brush. I'll do the other colours here too. You will see how they're all affected. So a bit of glaze, a little bit of Antibes. Isn't that beautiful? So what I'm really saying too is that every colour you do is going to be a lot lighter. It's not going to have the strength of that. So you've got to judge what you're going to get. I'm going to do the same thing, a little bit of the glaze and a little bit of Obersol. Oh, too much there. So just wipe that away and add on to there. So you end up with these beautiful colours, very, very shimmering and just beautiful. And you can mix. So I could use a little bit of Florence and mix that with some no, Obersol, I think just to make it a bit darker. And that one is actually quite strong. The more paint you put, the less shimmering it's going to be. And I think that is the beauty of it all, the shimmering. So how do you finish your beautiful pearlized piece? Well, something like this, it's all pearl all over. You don't have to do anything because the pearl itself is really strong and it's durable, so that's it. Um, only for indoor pieces, not for outdoors, of course. On detailed work where there is no glaze at all, what I would recommend is that you lacquer the piece first. So you would lacquer it with either uh, a shiny, the gloss lacquer, or the matte lacquer. I think the matte is nicer because you've got this lovely contrast between the matte and the, um, the shine of the pearlescent glaze. So the process would be paint with your chalk paint, 
then apply your matte lacquer and then over that you would put your pearlescent glaze. So alternatively, you can finish by um, waxing it, which is absolutely no problem at all. It will actually mat it slightly. The only thing you can't do is wax it and then put the pearl paint on top, because wax is obviously oily, so you can't do it the alternative way. But uh, yeah, more or less, everything's possible. So to summarise, this is an amazing product that is water-based. Wash your brushes in water. It's durable, uh, not to be used outside, but used inside. And yeah, just gorgeous. <laughs>